Simplify decimals. If we look at an example, take the fraction 4 twelfths, we might be able to simplify this. One way of checking whether we can simplify this is write out the factors of both the numerator, the number at the top, and the denominator, the number at the bottom. So factors are numbers that go into uh, the number in question. So 4 has the following factors. Does 1 go into 4? Yes, it does, 4 times. Does 2 go into 4? Yes, it does, twice. Does 3 go into 4? No, it doesn't. And does 4 go into 4? Yes, it does, just once. Looking at 12 now, factors of 12. Uh, 1 goes into 12, 2 goes into 12, 6 times. 3 goes into 12, 4 times. 4 goes into 12, 3 times. Uh, 5 doesn't go in, 6 doesn't, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all don't, and 12 does. We then need to look for the highest common factor. That's a number that goes into both 4 and 12, and appears in, uh, so it appears in both sets of numbers we've drawn out, and it's the highest number that does go into them both. 2 does go into 4 and does go into 12, but it's not the highest number that goes into both numbers. Once we've found this, we can divide both the top and bottom by the highest common factor, which in this case is 4, to give us our new simplified fraction, which in this case will be 4 divided by 4, which is 1, and 12 divided by 4, which is 3, uh, which tells us that 4 twelfths is the same as 1 third.